Well, I'm back at the range, and I've got new adapters, new things for my rifle. I'll show you here in just a second. But uh, I went and added the uh, muzzle brake and a new um, scope to it, so I'm going to try those out. Going to set some targets up, and uh, then once we get those set up, I'll walk back up to the range or the bench and use my other camera to show you those modifications. So I just wanted this down here so we could kind of get an idea of where it's actually really hitting. So, kind of guessing, I think that's about right. All right. It's a 100 yard range. I've got it zeroed at 50. I changed the scope, I'll show you. And then, uh, let's see how it goes. <laughs> if I don't bring more staples with me, I will definitely run out. So, played it safe today. made targets. All right, we'll see how it goes. Yankee Hill muzzle brake. Clamps. And then this is the new uh, Viper PST Gen 2 that I put on it. We'll see how that goes. But like I said, I I wanted this muzzle brake mostly so because it's a QD brake because it, it allows me to do a, a mild barrel extension. The tool and make is a universal. So if my QD uh, do this, Hill Phantom like tie. But I will put that on after I've uh, got it shooting at 100 yards. If there's a bit. torque, I think it's Yeah, you better have your earplugs back <laughs> in. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to shoot it at 100. I'm just using the Federal, um, not typical. Like I said, it's 20 bucks a box, and it is nice when you're zeroing in. I don't want to spend a fortune getting zeroed with good ammo. So I'll switch over once I get my zero. All right, just my parallax. Which one are you shooting at? Uh, I'll shoot at the left one first. Oh. It's the left new ones, right? You got those? Yeah, okay. got it. Okay, I'll Not too bad. Was that on the orange? Uh, almost. I can't see that. It's just to the right. I can't see it. I'll let you look in a second. So, the new muzzle but brake works just as good as the uh, factory Ruger one. Unless you're standing next to it, <laughs> it's blowing crap everywhere. I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, I don't know if it's changed the harmonics on the barrel. Oh, man, 
I'll take that all day. Yeah, what? Well, let my brother go through the scope. With twenty dollar ammo. target right the new ones I hung up with the left one I'd take that yeah yeah for $20 ammo if you want to look in it's the new targets but it's the left one it's still a, I get I need to move it a little but do what I need to move it to the right or left just a little oh I, yeah see what I meant about it being Sight in low at 50. Yeah, you're dead on. Yeah. Well, you got two that's overlapping right there? Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, this stuff is $20 a box at Walmart. 180 grain. Well, it likes 180 grain. Yeah, I've got some 200 grainers I'm going to try in a minute. Um, they'll have a little more. Them. They're actually only 30, that's 40 a box for them. What time is it? Oh, it's 12. Yeah, because I need to head back about 1. Did you make your adjustment? Not yet. Thing is, I'm only going to go left, I think, one click. That's all I would move it. Because these are MOAs, half MOA. Well, I would still only move it one click because that's a half inch. All right, let's see. Go down Pistol range, or yeah. All right. You gonna shoot this Did before we leave? Do what? You wanna shoot it? I'll wait till after I get my eye fixed. <laughs> so you can see. I'll shoot it, but it ain't gonna be good. Well, I just didn't know if you want to shoot it, just see what it feels like. Yeah, I'll shoot it. Shoot it. Big targets on the left. Is there one in there? Well, once you rack the bolt forward, there will be. Okay. There's no doubt when you shoot that one, though, is there? Do what? There's no doubt when you shoot it.
Safety off? Yeah. We just need to recoil. There's not any. Yeah, I mean, that thing feels fine. Yeah. You're a, again, your 270 had more of a crack than that did. Oh, that 270, I had sucked. All right. Dave? Yeah, I'll try one round. <laughs> no, that's actually a sh nice. That's a comfortable gun. It's a loud muzzle brake, though. It's... Flames. But out the side. Does that have much recoil, does it? No, not really. I'm surprised it doesn't have any more than it does. By the way, it blows everything around. Yeah. Well, that's why that saves it. All right, now let's try it with the barrel extender. You going to the right one this time? No. Uh, well, no, I want to save that for... Um, a different ammo I've got. Now what power is that scope you're using? 15. <laughs> yep, suppressor makes it shoot lower. How much? About an inch and a half. That's still not bad at 100 yards. No, just something I need to be aware of. I'll shoot these last two here with the suppressor. All right. I sure like that barrel extender. Makes life a lot better. However, as you'll see later, um, it does change the point of aim a little bit. All right, I broke down and bought some of the uh, Hornady Precision Hunter. It's the um, 200 grain ELDX. Uh, I've heard good things about it. I've got nothing against going to 200 grand if it shoots well. It wasn't that bad. I'm thinking I got it at Bass Pro for 36 or $37, which is, for Bass Pro is amazing. We'll see what this 200 grain does though. Oops. I really like the extra magnification with this scope. It's a 3 by 15 where the other one's a 3 by 10.
This is shooting way higher. Uh, I don't guess I'm super surprised because it's actually uh, 2,850 feet per second, but it's a better bullet. This is 2,960. Um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Um, it actually didn't shoot as good as the cheap stuff, to be honest. Kind of surprised at that. I'm going to let it cool off a little. <coughs> See what happens. While I try to sight in my next rifle I brought, which was the donor rifle for that scope, that I used to use the uh, Leopold. And it's my 308, uh, which is what I used to use deer hunting. Sorry about that. <laughs> Minor technical detail. But it's truly a fence gun, and it weighs about 15 pounds. It's great when you're trying to uh, shoot nice precision, but it's not so great walking around in the woods. So, let's see here. Same kind of situation. I'm going to start off with... Uh, so cheap American white tail to get it zeroed. And then uh, go from there. This rifle has actually historically been exceptionally accurate uh, with the right ammo. So, and I have no doubt it will begin. I bought it actually, a barrel receiver from the custom shop at Remington. Got a great deal on it. Uh, and then built it up from there. And I've always loved shooting this rifle. One thing about the weight, it uh, definitely makes it a super, super light shooter. So, which is always nice. My wife likes to shoot it. All right, let me get uh, dialed in here at 50. Okay, so I need to go right about Getting there, 
I think uh, three more and I'll be ready to see what I can do at 100. But I'll switch to my match ammo when I do that just to see what it'll shoot. I actually have a camera down on the uh, targets today. We'll see how well it does. Hopefully it does good. Alright, I'm going to switch to the 100. That was almost an oopsie. Brush on the target. On the camera, I mean. Alright, here we go. So the match ammo I shoot is 168 grain, uh, and then the uh, this American Whitetail is 165. So it's close for me when I shoot this. So here's my match, uh, 308 that I shoot, 168 grain, Sierra Votel hollow points. Uh, it's actually Lake City match, which I was able to find sometimes at gun shops or gun shows. And uh, this rifle has always uh, shot phenomenal with it. We'll see what it does today, though. Actually, I was going to change it, but I think I decided to wait and just show you the groove. Yeah, it still shoots it pretty phenomenally. Let's see if I can't shoot that bullseye out and then I'll stop.
You'll see. <laughs> That's all I can say. There's nothing quite like a super accurate 308. Probably why I'll never get rid of it. All right. I think I want to do a couple more rounds with the um, Hornady Precision Hunter. Uh, I might hold on just a second here. Maybe, maybe it won't mess up stuff. But I want to try it with the suppressor and out. I'm going to change the point of aim though because I'm sticking with my 180, I think, instead of this 200. Unless this just shoots lights out at the walls and pull off. mentioned before in another video I put this uh, cheek riser pad on I'm gonna have to move it back a little bit because it's hitting the um, bolt just a little but not enough to matter but I can move it back I might so Pardon my uh, engineering rest, but it works, so I don't usually say so much about it. All right, here we go. minor technical difficulties there that is that muzzle blast and it's uh i will say with this new uh, muzzle brake uh, the sideways blast is uh it's extreme so however i do like this option so All right, this will be the last three. Let me get this One thing I've noticed is, uh, I've noticed is when I put the suppressor on, it actually uh, tightens the groups up, which I like. So we'll see what it does with this. Keep saying three more, one more, because I wasted a shot. Change the target. Second go around, uh, I'll show you the targets later. And like I said, I have video 
shooting the targets. I'll try to space them in so you see the actual impacts and then we can get an idea of it. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this video as much as you did the last one. Uh, unfortunately, my GoPro quit. So uh, this is from my phone again. Hopefully it's not too, too nasty sounding. Anyway, talk to you later. Out.